see how this works out. So I've just bought the DJI uh, audio adapter. We've got a Rode mic hooked into it. And uh, yeah, we'll see if that improves the audio quality. So if you're like me and you go the Action 3 and you want something that works for the audio, well, this might help you out. Right, so just showing you quickly my Arai XD3. Um, I've got the new audio adapter. The old Action 3, which is still a fantastic camera. I need to upgrade to the Action 4, I don't think. Um, yeah, so the mic is actually in here. So I've got the Rode mic going into the adapter. And this thing you can also, it's got a USB port for charging the camera as well on the go. So you simply just clip the audio adapter into place, plug in the Rode Go mic, turn the camera on, and your microphone is automatically recognized. From there, you select the menu, press the microphone, and the box on your right is your gain. I've got mine set at plus two. So yeah, let's test it and see how it goes. It's gonna take the GS out. I've actually, I was just thinking the other day, I've had it for 14 years, had hardly any problems with it. And then on the way home from work yesterday, um, it had a slight miss and then uh, I'm thinking maybe coils or spark plugs or something I don't know um, maybe even the fuel pump that's actually been changed before it's upgraded to another one but then uh, put it on the diagnostic didn't come up with any codes um, and then I also found the negative terminal on the battery it was a little loose so I'm hoping that that might be it so take it for a test ride as well and uh, try the camera out see how that goes yeah, all right. See how she starts. 236,450 kilometers. Not bad. All right, here we go. All right, started. No engine lights. The brake failure one goes away as you take off. It's just the uh, ABS. Turn on my ancient Zumo GPS. All right, let's go see how this turns out. Fingers crossed. So what it was doing was under acceleration, it was cutting out. Um, it would actually, I could get it up to 100 k's an hour, but it was almost like it was running on one cylinder. It does feel a little smoother now, but not really going to know till we get going. So under hard acceleration, it was cutting out in a Googled it and it seemed to be a common problem. There we go. I just felt it a bit then. Yeah, there's a bit of miss there. That's not good. I'm suspecting the uh, ignition coils, so it's got four on this thing four spark plugs, two cylinders. But um, yeah, apparently that's a common problem. So she's done a lot of Ks. You'd expect her to have some issues by now. Still got the original clutch, believe it or not. There's my neighbor. Uh, not locking my chances here. So yeah, under at low revs it's fine. I just hope it's not the fuel pump. It might be the, the regulator to the fuel pump really, so... Which is... Because um, on the diagnostic it was actually showing the fuel pump is on and, and being okay. Like I said, it didn't have any... Um, didn't come up with any error messages. Alright, hard acceleration. No. Look at that, she's just cutting out straight away. It's like, almost like it's running on one cylinder. There's my... But yeah, look at that, she's up to 100. So at really low throttle inputs, the bike seems to run fine. But as soon as you go to open it up, it cuts out a bit, you know? like Almost like traction control on the new bikes. This thing obviously doesn't have traction control because it's ancient, but uh, being an 05 model. Yeah, interesting. 
Okay, so I was sort of hoping that that loose terminal might be their cause. I thought maybe it's just not getting enough uh, voltage or something through to the regulator on top of the fuel pump. The fuel pump sits fairly flat, so one of the things that used to go wrong with this and what happened when I first got it, first major issue I had with this bike was that it cut out on me completely and uh, yeah the what happened was that water got into the cavity where the regulator sits on top of the fuel pump it's just a bad design stay there mate thank you so yeah low rev she goes okay but it's a bit unnerving when you go to really give it a bit of bit of throttle and it's only just past quarter throttle that it does it anyway yeah like I was saying what happened is he in that cavity um, the o-ring had basically let water past it and it would fill it up and of course the connector plug is in the bottom of that and so it would just short out and then uh, and you're fucked you can't go anywhere there is a bypass lead you can get but I'm think I've got the old regulator there the old plug and what I'm thinking I might do is make up my own lead and basically run it straight from the battery straight to the fuel pump so there'll be no regulation it will just run full pelt probably deliver too much fuel but um, at least I'll be able to see if that's the problem so if it's not the other things obviously ripping spark plugs out um, Maybe changing the ignition coils, that's not going to be cheap, I'm sure. So it's got two primary ones here and two secondary ones underneath. Okay, I just wanted to test, that's with my visor up. Just going to do a little loop around Boyland here. Yeah, I don't know. I must have jinxed myself because I was actually thinking the other day on my way to work. I was thinking, how amazing is this bike? I want to do a 250,000k review of this thing when it gets there in about 15,000 k's time, and um, at how good it is because I really haven't had to do much to it. You know, I've um, just serviced it, probably not as regularly as I should have. Um, I haven't changed the spark plugs for a while. Maybe that's the, the issue. I don't know. Here we got some dirt. Anyway, I've got built-in traction control now, haven't I? Let's give it a burst. There you go. Look at that. Won't spin the back up. Traction control. Nah, it's a pain in the ass. But you can get up to speed all right it's just uh overtaking or yeah when you want to give it a fistful just won't let you have it so it's either like it's starving for fuel a bit it's not missing you see so which makes me wonder whether it is actually the coils it's not running rough otherwise you know like it'll accelerate under smooth throttle response until you get to that point where it just says no more. Look at this beautiful area here. Forced traction control. <laughs> There's that lovely Mount Tambourine in front of me. Yeah. What do you think of the audio so far? I'm sort of thinking that I might have to drop it a couple of decibels in gain. With the visor down, there's a little bit of buzzing. With the visor up, it seems okay. There's not too much wind noise. You can still hear the engine noise. Or possibly the mic is too close to my mouth. I might even try moving it to the outer part of the cheek pad and see if that makes a difference.
Yeah, it's under through smooth throttle, it's okay, you know. It, um, I noticed uh, years ago anyway when I think it was about 2020 before I did the trip out to Big Red on this thing um, I had a leaking fuel pump uh, flange it was leaking fuel around the flange there and uh, there was a service bulletin out I think uh, to replace um, like a recall for the pumps on these things okay there we go so up here you can see the fuel pump and the fuel pump flange is actually the gasket I think it must be I'm hoping is leaking fuel all the way down so we won't be taking the GS today rang BMW and there's a recall for it which was out late last year so it's going into Morgan and Wacker in Brisbane booked in to get that fixed under warranty and I noticed when they replaced the pump how responsive this bike was all of a sudden it um, was like it wasn't I always thought it was alright, but um, when it had the new pump, I think it was delivering, you know, obviously had more fuel pressure, it was delivering a bit more fuel, it just felt a lot more responsive. And maybe that's sort of the issue at the moment, you know, it's maybe suspecting that a little bit. No fast acceleration here. Let's have a look. So like that, it's okay, but it says open the throttle. There you go. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Sunset this afternoon. Yeah, well, that's a bugger. Anyway, the other reason I wanted to come out was to test this uh, mic anyway, so uh, having a bit of a play with the gain on it. I know the audio adapter brings the gain down a little bit on the camera, so I'm hoping the volume comes through okay. I just put the road mic uh, into the cheek pad of my um, Arai, I've got an XD3 or Tour X3 if you're overseas and um, pretty similar to the XD4 and uh, yeah so I'm hoping um, that muffles it enough you know and um, see how it goes anyway Yeah, it was a bit of a backfire there. Fire. Yeah, so the only way is to make up a lead, I guess. You can buy them, I think. People do sell them online, but um, I've got the old plug, so... Let's have changed the plug. What I might do is just wire up something from the battery to the fuel pump. And... Uh, see if it's the pump that's the problem otherwise yeah I might be up for new coils I suppose the easier thing too is just to do the um, change the spark plugs I think I would have changed them back in 2020 I'm pretty sure I did so it shouldn't be those <coughs> That would have been around the 200,000k mark, I think. Alright. Oh well, the bike's a fail. Hopefully the camera's not. We'll see how we go. Thanks for watching.